Thanks. Uh, I guess I'm not going to be announced because I think I'm supposed to be a surprise or something. But, but, uh, I, personally, I personally am surprised. I thought this was going to be a, a very small dinner and I was the only one playing. So I tend to be a bit on the reclusive side. So it's. But um, the night is kind of filled with resonance. I'm glad to be here with James and uh, also the. The first gig I ever had after I made an album was opening in Pennsylvania for Cheech and Chong. So, uh, but I'm glad to be here tonight for James. James to me was always, uh, for me, was always an authentic Southern voice. And um, I guess you, you grew up in Massachusetts, but you, lit, you were born in Carolina. Am I right? The other way around? <laughs> Thank God, that makes sense with my story here because uh, there was always something deeply Southern in James' voice. One night we played in New York and he sang, uh, he sang the river and it was just, uh, he just did such a, a beautiful thing with it. And uh, besides being an you know, incredible songwriter and, and musician, he's also the star of one of my all-time favorite films, Tulane Blacktop. So. <laughs> Was that, that, was that the only one? There was never another one? That was it. That's a good one, though. <laughs> that was a good one to choose. <laughs> if you haven't seen Tulane Blacktop, see Tulane Blacktop. He's, he's fabulous. <laughs> All right. Here's a mill worker. Father was a sailor, he blew it off the water. My father was a farmer, and I his only daughter. I took up with a no good mill working man from Massachusetts who dies from too much whiskey and leaves me these three faces. Never meet the man 
whose name is on the lead. 